This video shows a demonstration of power testing for a Citizens Band CB radio transceiver. Instead of connecting the transceiver to an antenna, as it would normally be connected for typical use, we have connected through a cable to the input of an RF watt meter. In this case, the watt meter is manufactured by Bird Electronic Corporation. It's what they call their through line meter, which means the power comes in through one connector, comes out through the meter to another cable into, in this case, a dummy load. Now we could have a normal antenna connected at the output of the RF meter, but I don't want to broadcast any RF energy in my room right now that might interfere with other electronic projects, so I'm going to use the dummy load. A dummy load is certainly uh, basically a large 50 ohm resistor, and it's 150 watts in rating, so it can certainly handle all the power that the transceiver can muster. Uh, so we're going to do a power test on this and demonstrate how the RF watt meter works. So, briefly illustrating, every time I key the microphone here, that's going to put the transceiver into transmit mode, and then we should see the power registered on the watt meter. And sure enough, I see power there. Now we're going to take a closer look at how the watt meter is configured and how it works. This particular model has a number of different plugs that you can insert into this hole in the meter, and each plug is set up for a different frequency range and a different power range. In this case, the plug is set up for 25 to 60 megahertz on a maximum of 10 watts. That frequency range is appropriate for this transmitter because it is a citizen's band transmitter, and the CB uh, frequency range is about 27 megahertz. So 27 megahertz falls within the 25 to 60 megahertz rating of this plug, so that is appropriate. So is the power rating. I'm only expecting a few watts at most out of this transmitter, and this is rated for a maximum of 10 watts. When you look at the scale of the meter, you see that this one scale is divided into three different sections. So we have a section that goes from 0 to 25, a section that goes from 0 to 50, another section that goes from 0 to 100. It's the same uh, graduations, the same divisions on the scale, but different numerical points along the way. So this is a 10 watt plug, which means we have to use the scale that terminates in the number 100 and just mentally shift the decimal point back one place. So instead of reading that as 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 watts, it instead would be 2.0, 4.0, 6.0, 8.0, .0, and 10.0 watts. So keying the microphone once again, we can get a quantitative measurement now looking at the scale of the meter, and that's going up just above 2 watts of power. So we are transmitting 2 watts of RF energy into this dummy load where it gets converted into heat as opposed to being radiated out into space as an antenna would. <coughs> there are other plugs made for this RF watt meter. This one in particular is a 5 watt with a frequency range of 100 to 250 megahertz. Now of course that frequency range is outside of the limits of citizens band radio so this would not be the appropriate plug to use. But if you were to test an RF transmitter in that frequency range that would give you a maximum of 5 watts. So then what you do is you read the scale that terminates in 50 and then just mentally shift the decimal point back so that reads 0 to 5.0. Here's one that actually has a full power rating of 50. So if you were to plug this into the meter and use it, you would read that 0 to 50 scale directly. This plug is 0 uh, to 250 watts, and so you would read the scale that terminates, well, technically it should terminate at 25, but they ran out of room on the paper, so they show the next major division down being 20. That'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, and you just have to imagine that says 25. This plug is rated for a maximum of 250, so you would have to add a decimal or a zero to that to read the scale as 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250. So that's the basic idea of the different plug styles. Another nice feature of this meter is these plugs can be rotated and the arrow represents the direction of power that you are measuring. So with the arrow pointed in this direction, you are measuring what's called the forward power, or the power being sent from the transmitter to the load or antenna. If you turn this around, it measures the reflected power. That's the amount of power being reflected back from the antenna or load. And that would be due to a mismatch of impedances. If we key the microphone here, you can see there's negligible movement of the power meter, which is good we would expect to see 
negligible, ideally, zero power being reflected back from our load. Putting it to the forward position again and keying the microphone, we see about two watts of power. So again, that's a basic overview of an RF power meter, a through line power meter, <clears throat> using a dummy load instead of an antenna, and in this particular case using a CB transceiver as our RF source.